What's up everyone, I'm Cameron with Z1 Off-Road. Today I'm here to introduce you to the Z1 Off-Road Xterra Snorkel. So this is a product that has been highly anticipated here internally at Z1. Uh, there's been a lot of requests for this product, especially since we released it for the D41 Frontier. So when we designed the Frontier Snorkel, we decided that the next one on the list absolutely needed to be the Xterra. All the plastic components here on the table are made from high density polyethylene. Uh, it's roto-molded for optimal precision. And uh, I guess I'll just kind of go top to bottom and show you guys all the pieces of the kit and what you can expect when you get this in the mail. So starting at the top, uh, we've got our snorkel head. We've got a 6061 laser cut aluminum face. Um, it's gonna be anodized black and held in place with stainless steel hardware. Uh, all the hardware on this kit is stainless steel because we wanted to make sure that it's gonna look good for the rest of the life of the vehicle and uh, not have any corrosion or problems in that department. Um, moving on to the upright, one thing that we did on the D41 snorkel that we wanted to carry over to the N50 Xterra snorkel was the drill-free A-pillar bracket. A lot of people are pretty nervous about drilling into their A-pillars as that's a very permanent thing to do. Um, you can replace a fender, but an A-pillar is a little harder. Um, so what we did is we created this bracket. It just wraps around the pinch weld underneath the weather seal uh, in your door frame. And then it bolts up to these holes here on your snorkel and allows you to just simply slide it in bolt it in and you're done. So it's a really simple install and uh, we wanted to make sure that that carried over for the snorkel on the Xterra. Moving down, uh, we have a little dimple here at the bottom of our snorkel. Uh, you can see right here, uh, that's the lowest point on the snorkel. And there was a lot of internal debate here at Z1 about whether we should include a drain plug or a weep hole or not. And uh, so what we ended up going with was a little bit of a drain plug. So um, all you do is drill a 3 8 hole in the bottom of your snorkel and uh, you can simply just pop this plug in and out. I've been running the snorkel on my truck for a few months now, and I've only had one instance where I've really needed to just pop this out, and uh, that was due to some really heavy rain. But it's still lower than the outlet of the snorkel, so you don't have to worry about water getting into your intake system that way. Moving on to the fender. So this is our state-of-the-art um, snorkel template. A lot of snorkels come with paper templates, and we do not like paper templates. We want to go with thermoform templates if we can. Um, so what that's gonna do is it's just gonna fit perfectly on the body of your truck and you can cut with confidence every time. Uh, it's a really simple and effective way to do it. Moving inside the fender, if you're looking from the driver's side, this is what the plumbing is gonna look like inside the fender. Um, so we have a silicone joiner that connects to the bottom of the snorkel, a plastic fender pipe that's gonna be super impact resistant. Uh, if you're not running fender liners, uh, you'll know that there's tons of rocks get chucked up there and these are going to hold up to that just fine. When we get to the intake, uh, we have two options that we've accommodated here. Uh, the first one is, of course, the Z1 Off-Road Cold Air Intake System. This is going to perfectly secure to the outside of your airbox. And then another option we have here is for the factory airbox. So all you do is cut the end of the volute off and this will just plug right on um, and bolt up just like this one does. So um, that's kind of everything. Uh, we went for a complete package that bolts up uh, directly to factory and Z1 intake systems. Uh, we went for a seamless design that fits the look and the profile of the Xterra and that really matches its personality. And we wanted to keep it low profile, out of the way, um, so that you're not gonna snag it on branches and stuff like that. And we wanted to make sure that it's overall just an aesthetically good package. And I think we've landed on a really good product. So that wraps up the Nissan Xterra snorkel kit by Z1 Off-Road. Uh, if you want to see the install video, go ahead and check it out right here. Uh, our guys will put the link to the video right here for you, and you can go see that full install guide. Uh, if you haven't picked yours up, go on over to z1offroad.com and get yours today.